Ancient China is a wonderful topic to learn about whether your passion lies in history, cleanliness, or both. The ancient Chinese have some fascinating ideas on how to keep yourself clean. The culture of China is one of the oldest still practiced in the modern world. This culture started to evolve in the Yellow River Valley more than 6,000 years ago, and many of the old customs that were practiced back then are still practiced now. Respect for one's ancestors, the spirits of the soil, the gods, and one's fellow human beings were the foundations upon which the Chinese built their civilization. People used to have the mentality that they should always act as if they were in the presence of the gods and spirits that they believed ruled the world because they believed that the world was governed by these beings. Ancient Chinese Bathing Customs and Traditions People living in ancient China did not have the luxury of taking a shower every day or even once every other day, which may be hard to fathom for modern humans. In a similar vein, the majority of the populace did not have the luxury of going into a bathroom and taking a bath. Archaeologists in China discovered three royal bathrooms from the Warring States period between the years 475 to 221 BCE, proving that the ancient Chinese nobility was committed to maintaining high standards of personal hygiene long before the Shang Dynasty. The wet parts of these bathrooms were fitted with drainage holes and sewage pipes, and the dry areas had ceramic tiling for decoration. The Social Importance of Taking a Shower It should come as no surprise that maintaining adequate levels of personal cleanliness is critical, but not easy for everyone. For instance, during the Zhao Dynasty, society expected Chinese people to help their parents wash their hair every third day and to boil water for their parents to bathe every five days. In addition, bathing was not limited to the confines of a single household, it was common etiquette to take a bath offered by the host before using a meal. The Emergence of Hygiene Accessories The modern populace has a penchant for shower gels, soaps, and several other bathing accessories. An older form of shower gel, which was popular during the Han Dynasty, was referred to as bath bean. It was actually a refined form of soap that was made by combining ground beans or peas with various spices. In these concoctions, herbs like cloves and eaglewood, as well as a variety of flowers and even powdered jade, would be used. Salt and Vinegar Toothpaste Is it the same as what you see on television when people immediately start their day by rinsing their mouths with water after getting out of bed? In ancient China, people did not have access to modern tools with which to effectively clean their teeth but the solutions they used were just as effective as modern toothpaste. In the Wei, Jin, Sui, and Zhang dynasties, it was common for people to clean their teeth and rinse their mouths with salt and tea, among other things. The minerals in salt could whiten teeth while preventing tooth decay. Alternative Cleansing Procedures The ancient Chinese uncovered novel approaches to maintaining their health and well-being. Rice water was used as a detergent for cleaning, and the ash of plants that had been burned to make straw was used for bathing and washing clothes. Some people felt it was important to keep their facial hair in check, just as they do in today's society. Even though they did not have the custom of shaving their hair on their bodies, they did engage in the practice of eliminating fine facial hair. Before their wedding day, both the men and the women received this treatment so they would appear presentable for the rituals. Ancient Toilet Paper How did people in China take care of themselves when they needed to go to the bathroom? Before the advent of modern conveniences, common people had to improvise their toilet paper by using objects such as stones, leaves, twigs, and even earth blocks. After the Han Dynasty, people started using thin bamboo strips as toilet paper, these strips were cut from bamboo slices. The first documented use of real toilet paper occurred in the 6th century AD in China, where the learned official Yang Zetui mentioned the use of toilet paper. By 1391, toilet paper was used as a luxury item by the Chinese emperor and other royalty. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up.
And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video.